Alright, welcome back to another episode of Fallout 4. Uh, last episode, we cleared out Pikmin's Galleria here, and uh, we found Pikmin's Key. But while we were in there, we never found anything that it went to. I did go back at the end of last episode, after I finished recording, I went back through the place, and I did find a chest that I missed, and apparently I passed up a uh, combat right arm. It's actually a, it's a pretty cool thing. Cryogenic combat armor right arm. 10% chance to freeze melee attackers once every 20 seconds. So I'm going to put that on, because it's better than this heavy metal right arm. But, the thing is, it wasn't in a chest that was locked and required a key. And, and none of the chests that I found when I was down in there required Pikmin's key, so what does his key go to? There's something else somewhere that requires that thing. But I don't think we're gonna find it right now, you know? It probably has something to do with a quest that we haven't accepted. So for now, I think all we can really do is hop out of here and go on our way. Hey look, it's the Silver Shroud dude. I wonder if that's a part of the Silver Shroud quest. Could be. Could be. Alright, but anyway, we're supposed to be headed... Which one of these markers am I going to? both up here. Okay, there's one way over here. That's the Corsair. Here we go. Meet Deacon at the old highway. Let's see. Where is the closest place I've been? Corvega? Yeah. Okay, we'll fast travel to Corvega, then hoof it from there. Save a little bit of time. Okay, I have no idea where we're at. This is not what I remember Corvega looking like. Oh, it's been repopulated. Ooh. That place was not fun last time I was there. And I'm afraid to turn my flashlight on. I've been spotted by something. I gotta I gotta peek over here and see what this glowing is. Ah. Fungus. Okay. So Deacon is that marker. I feel like we're far enough away from all that. We can fairly safely use this. It's still not safe, but a little safer than we were. I wonder, am I supposed to be on this expressway or is down here fine? Is that a Nuka Cola? Yes, it is. That's a Nuka Quantum. And that's a Rad Roach. A nasty one at that. Pretty sure there's other stuff over there. I think that was the worst of it. Oh, that's a big one. That thing's huge. Wow. 
Legendary Rad Roach. That's pretty neat. Okay, let's knock this bad boy down. Oh, there's a regular Nuka too. There we go. Where'd that other one go? Did it not fall all the way? Oh well, not that important. There were some goggles up here. I want to take a look at those. Ushanka hat. Welding goggles. Looks like they're not actually useful. Okay, back to finding Deacon. Oh, Deacon, where are you? Is that the right thing? Yeah, okay, it's the right one. Meet Deacon at the old highway. What is this? Hello. The hell? I didn't want to kill you. But you pulled your gun first. Sorry. You were probably a sweet girl. Alright, moving along. Getting real close. Found you. Hey. Deacon? Is that you? Like the disguise? It's Wastelander Camo. This is my pile of garbage, asshole. Back off. Good, right? <laughs> You're lucky I didn't do one of my face swaps, too. You can change your face? I put myself under the knife every year or two. New face, new body, you know, the full makeover. It keeps our enemies guessing. That? Not much of a disguise. A disguise is more than a wig and some lice-ridden clothes. You'd be surprised how far I've gotten with the right attitude and a clipboard. But about the job. The railroad's only recently been using the old North Church. Our old base was underneath the Slocum's Joe. We had a pretty sweet setup until the Institute found us. What is a Slocum's Joe? Your base was under a donut shop? It's a lot <laughs> better than it sounds. Well, it was, until it was blown to hell. What happened? Our HQ was strong, defensible. Heck, we thought it was secure. Inside a minute, the Institute troopers breached the doors and turned it into a shooting gallery. The survivors didn't have time to grab anything. So we're getting something important we had to leave behind. Go on. We got a tourist nearby. He or she has information on the base. So let's pump in for information before we dive in. For now, I'll take point. So I'm looking for right. mail signs. Symbols we use to send messages to each other. If you like that, we got signs and counter signs, dead drops, even a secret handshake. All right, maybe the handshake never got on. Anyway, the tourist should have a trail left for us. Here we go. Rail sign. The arrow in the center indicates a direction. So our tourist is up ahead. Let's keep going. Indeed. Let's. I shouldn't really be advertising our position with my flashlight. Got another rail sign. Right there. Got a dead guy too. Very atmospheric this is.
Okay, we're already drawing attention. Man, those guys were pretty tough. Hey, come on, Deacon. Lead the way. Which way are we headed, big guy? Which way are we headed? No, oh, I really need to oil this chair. Another. We're probably close. Sorry, had to check. What is that? Hmm. Sorry, buddy, you're on point. Keep going. Don't wave for me. Ah, oh, there's guys up there. Hope we're not going back to Corvega. See the plus in the center? That means there's an ally nearby, our tourist. You take point on the conversation. Look, no matter what he says, you just say, mine is in the shop. Trust me. First, I'm taking his stuff. Hey, Ricky. Oh, thank God. Do you have a Geiger counter? Do you have a goddamn Geiger counter? Mine is in the shop. Who the hell is he? HQ said they were sending one agent, not two. Sorry, I'm new. He's just showing me the road. What? All That's right. a lie. The wall is my witness. I thought I was dead. Oh, my goodness. That goddamn time you headquarters bastards got here. He looks like, uh, what's his face? Uh, Kurt Russell? The guy who played Snake Bliskin. He looks a whole lot like him. Tell me what's going on. I signed on for some light recon, but that little slocum's Joe of yours is crawling with goddamn chrome don't sit sons of bitches. <laughs> the front's fortified to hell and back. They place mines all over the goddamn place. They have a minefield? Yeah, the mother of all minefields. I couldn't draw you a map if I tried. What do you mean by chrome dome synths? You know, them early model synths. Looks like metal wrapped over mechanical innards. You see them here and there doing who knows what for the Institute. I appreciate all you've done. I hope it helps. I really do. As soon as it's safe, I'm getting the hell out of here. So if you need anything else, better ask soon. Hey, Ricky. You need something else? He said ask soon, so... You scavenge anything that can help us? We're risking our lives out there. Ah, oh, hell. I suppose I could spare a few things. I don't know what your death's on my conscience. Why, thank you much. You've done enough for us. Goodbye. Damn straight. Alright, come on, newbie. Well, isn't Ricky just a ray of sunshine? You think he's telling the truth? He's probably telling the truth, but you never can tell. I agree. Odds are good we can take him at face value. First rule in this business is never go against your gut. So if we take him at his word, the front door has mines, synths, and probably other fun and exciting prizes. So we're going in through the escape tunnel. The donut shop has an escape tunnel? What? Doesn't everyone have an escape tunnel? Seriously though? Thank God for that tunnel. If it weren't for that, there wouldn't be any railroad left. Alright, this has been another episode of Fallout 4. Next episode into the Slocum's whatever it was called the donut shop we're going in there <laughs> all right don't forget to like and subscribe come back next time appreciating take the it easy really is a lost art isn't it or never change